day, everyone. This is Onion. It's Sunday, March 28th. Uh, today, I'm going to go over Churchill Capital with you, uh, look at some technical insight, uh, short selling activity, institutional holdings, and we'll look at the, uh, the quant computer estimates. Um, so Friday, uh, it's actually a pretty good day. I like to use a six-week chart uh, for uh, Churchill. And you can see it was it was following the 21-day moving average quite, you know, for a while. Uh, and then it kept on going down. But Friday was a solid day. There was actually two... Uh, there was one bullish indicator uh, triggered, and that was just this candlestick here. Uh, and then the, uh, the commodity channel index I was triggered. I'll show you what that is in a second, but that's basically uh, that's the start of a you know a, a reversal. Like that would that would be an uptrend there. Um, but you can see here that even the 21-day moving average is starting to level out. Uh, so within the next few days, it, it, it levels out and starts going up. I believe you know that, like the share price is going to follow that. That's basically the direction this is showing. Um, you know the chart showing right now that it is going to go sideways or slightly up, but it, you know a press release or, or anything can can change that. This is just you know uh, tech going by the technicals here. Um, the uh, the MACD it almost hit the average line uh, a couple weeks ago, and then you can see now it's starting to drop down again. Uh, it's not really separating a lot, so that's a that's a strong sign, but it's still a sign of a downward trend uh, and still be, and still below the uh, the zero line, so it's in, in bearish territory. Uh, momentum has dropped below the zero line again. It was above for a while, um, and then this is the uh, this is the reversal here. Basically, all it, all it was was the was the uh, the CCI came down, hit negative 100, and it bounced back up. So um, this can go below negative 100, and that's a really bad sign of a of a you know downward trend. But it never did. It hit negative 100, and now it's starting to level out and go up a little bit. But that is the only indicator right now showing a reversal. So uh, everything else is basically showing, as you can see here, sideways or slightly down. Um, and the RSI, your relative strength right now, is at 42. So it does have a little bit more room to go um, if that's the direction it continues to go, but I, I don't believe so. This candlestick is a strong sign. Um, and with the commodity channel index, this is a strong sign of bottom and going up. But again, you know, it's it's... It seems to follow Neo. Like, uh, you know, if Neo has a red day, uh, Churchill has a red day. So, you know, and Neo uh, has a lot of bad news right now with the semiconductor shortage and stuff. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens next week. Uh, but alone, uh, on its own, uh, Churchill, you know, with the uh, indicators and that should be going up. Um, so, if we look at the uh, the short selling activity, um, it's basically the same. All the month, of, you know, the whole month month of March has been either high teens or, or low 20s. And you can see this is the month here. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary. Uh, you know, Friday, the, the borrow rate was 2.28%. Uh, There's 3.5 million shares available, and, and they definitely took advantage of that. Um, I did check uh, today. Like, they, they, they post the borrow rate in that uh, seven days a week, um, and it was updated today. It was 1.9%. Uh, so uh, that can change by tomorrow. Uh, that's why I never wrote it down in here. And there was uh, there's actually 6 million shares available. So Again, those values can change tomorrow, um, but just keep your eye on that because that, that's actually quite high. Uh, if it is uh, 6 million shares, you might see a little bit of you know stronger uh, short selling tomorrow. Um, for the institutional activity, nothing has been um, uh, reported since March 1st. Uh, so in total, you have 153 institutional owners, and they represent 56.48% of the float. Uh, so here is the, uh, the, the quant computer estimates. Now, there's really not much to go by. Uh, you know, normally the companies are, are, are uh, measured year after year after year. There's nothing really here for Churchill. Um, so right now, the fair value is twenty-three dollars and four cents. It closed at twenty-three oh two. It closed right at basically right on fair value. But you can see here, there's a lot of numbers missing uh, in, in the formulas um, because we don't have them, right? So, you know, right now, fair value twenty-three oh four. The last close was twenty-three oh two. But you can see on their on their scale here, the uncertainty is very high. So, you know, I wouldn't take this, I wouldn't take this as as uh, you know um, completely accurate right now. But it is fairly accurate with the numbers that it has. So, so overall, uh, I believe Churchill next week uh, sideways. You know, maybe a little bit up. Uh, but we're going to need Monday Monday to confirm, and we're going to have to see what's going on uh, in the EV sector because it's it's very you know even if uh, I should show you this here, I, I, I forgot about this. But even the news, like, you know, you can see the last two news articles here. As soon as a news release is put, is put out, um, Churchill moves very fast. So, um, you know, if we do get good or bad news uh, uh, next week, you know, it will definitely, uh, it definitely moves the share price. So 
I hope this video helps. I, I will be, uh, you know, doing videos. I've been doing it for a few weeks now, and I'm going to continue to do them on Churchill. I do hold Churchill, so um, yeah, I hope these videos help. Have a wonderful day, and uh, have a great trading week.